Capricorn, it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your January 2023 energy forecast. So welcome to 2023. Happy birthday to you as well. You're coming into a brand new year in your birthday season. So 2023 is carrying the vibration of seven, which means that we're going to have a huge focus on our relationships throughout this course of this year. I would encourage you to go ahead and take a listen to the 2023 energy forecast that I have put out, breaking down this whole year and making sure that you are aware when the greatest changes will be taking place. Now, The modern day calendar tells us that we are moving into a month with the vibration of one, January being the first month in the modern day calendar. Well, literally speaking, we are moving into the 11th month of the traditional calendar. We're moving into the last quarter of the calendar, which is a time for rest, time for recalibration, a time for realization and alignment, not a time for action, not a time for initiating anything new as we do not have the support of the universe to go ahead and do that. What we need to be doing is visualizing and especially you coming into a brand new year, you have to take the time to set your sights on the goals on the experiences that you actually want to manifest for this next year. We're coming into 2023 with Mercury retrograde in your sign. Of course, we have a lot of planets in your sign as of right now, we have the sun, we have Mercury, we have Venus, we have Pluto, all in Capricorn energy. That's a lot of weight, a lot of heaviness for my cap friends. And luckily for you, we will be seeing multiple shifts kind of lightening that load as we move through January. Starting with January 2nd, we have Venus moving out of your sign and moving into Aquarius. So this is definitely going to have your mental plane just rapidly processing some thoughts, some ideas, some visions, some dreams, where it is that you want to be better, what it is that you want to do better, and constantly setting your sights on where it is that you can expand and grow your talents, your skills, and of course, your experience. Venus moving into Aquarius energy is going to be highlighting your second house. Your second house is where you need to give birth to new elements, especially where your physical life is concerned, where routines are concerned, relationships are concerned, money matters, long-term goals. You're definitely going to be flying high in the mental plane, receiving genius ideas, huge amounts of perspectives and insights on where it is that you want to kind of go from here. Now, Venus being in your sign for the past three and a half weeks would have illuminated to you what needs to stay and what needs to go and who needs to stay and go. And now in Aquarian energy, you're going to be able to kind of free yourself from some of those blockages, challenges, some of those restrictions, and really see a better flowing relationship dynamic with those that you choose to pour into. So on the sixth, we have the full moon, the first full moon of 2023 taking place in cancer energy, your opposite sign. So this is going to be taking place at 16 degrees. And it's going to be a whole lot of feels we have to go back to June July ish of 2022. We have to see the ever changing dynamics in your personal relationships. So this is friendships, this is romantic relationships, this is partnerships, business partnerships, there is a full illumination of some of the details, some of the I'm going to say perspectives that we weren't able to see up until now on the ever changing dynamics of our personal relationships. It's also going to have a huge focus on the relationship dynamics within the family, especially where the mother role is concerned and the feminine divine energy is concerned. And maybe where it is that we're building a brand new foundation of where these relationships are going to take place in your life. There is a lot of feedback coming up because boundaries are are the main focus of this particular full moon in Cancer, especially saying how it sits opposite of the sun still in Capricorn energy and Mercury retrograde in your sign. There's a lot of looking back, there's a lot of nostalgia, there's a lot of examining the pain and the trauma from the generational trauma that we have been kind of keeping alive and well in our blood in our family in our memories. And of course, realizing where it is that we have to break free from certain relationship dynamics, certain memories, certain, I'm going to say energy exchanges within the home within the family dynamic. So on the 12th, we have Mars 
the god of war ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire, even our anger, finally going direct. Going direct at eight degrees in Gemini energy. So Mars has been in Gemini energy for a very long time, almost seven months, and retrograded back at the end of October. So this is why we're lacking some physical energy, why we're lacking the clarity on what we're excited about, what we should do, what we want to pour into next, why we're having a little bit of a hard time deciding the path, the direction that we want to pursue and moving forward. So with Mercury going direct in Gemini energy, we can expect a lot of clarity. Now, this is going to be illuminating your sixth house. You've likely been experimenting with your health and wellness, with exercise or like diets. Um, the sixth house is focused on health and wellness, but even more than that, it's focused on your day to day life where tasks and chores and roles and re responsibilities are concerned, mostly because my Capricorn friends are so committed to work, to the roles and responsibilities that they have to be of service to other people that they forget that they have to be of service to themselves. This would be advisable to take a brand new approach on pouring your time and your energy into reorganizing and restructuring your day day to day life so that you're creating a little bit more time to do the things that make you happy that do the things that make you kind of excited and inspired. This is going to definitely have a huge impact on your mental health. Because my cat friends need just as much me time as they do work time. And that energy exchange is often very, very unbalanced. Now, on the 18th, we have Mercury going direct in your sign at eight degrees, the exact same degree that Mars is going direct in Gemini energy. So, of course, Mercury going direct in Capricorn energy is in your first house of self. You're probably going to have a lot to say, a lot of new ideas that you want to share. You're going to put yourself out there in a different way. You want to be seen. You want to be heard. You want to be able to articulate your inner realm and the ideas, the goals, the ambitions that you're having in a way that would kind of let the people around you know where it is that your time, your energy will be devoted in this new year. Now, the fact that Mars and Mercury are going direct pretty much within a week of one another, that is our mental plane. And that is our physical energy coming together to make up for lost time, we're going to feel a huge intensity, a huge shift forward is going to feel like the universe kind of press the fast forward button in a lot of ways. And we're going to have the ability to make a lot of progress in a very short amount of time. So the Gemini energy is our mental plane, it's our thoughts, our, our it's our ideas. The Capricorn energy, as you know, is about doing things and actually bringing those ideas to life. So you're definitely going to be appearing out in the world in a brand new different way because you have a lot to say, you have a lot of ideas, you have a lot of goals that you want to see come to life. And it all starts with being able to actually communicate your inner realm to those that need to hear it. On the 20th, we have the sun moving out of Capricorn energy and moving into Aquarius energy. So unfortunately, your birthday season will be coming to an end. But I don't think you're going to be mad about it because we're moving into a much lighter, much brighter type of energy. This Aquarian energy, again, focused on the second house. What do you want to build? What do you want to create? What do you want to give birth to? What do you need to change in your physical realm? Where do new routines need to be born? Where do new relationships need to be initiated? Where do new skills and talents need to be brought out to the forefront in order to create a little bit more of a financial safety and security for you? You're going to have a lot of energy working in that mental plane, a lot of insight, a lot of focusing in on the future. And it's going to be a great time to do that because on the 21st, we have the new moon taking place in Aquarius energy is taking place at one degree 33 minutes, which is the exact same degree that we had our new moon in Capricorn in on December 23rd. This is essentially a brand new chapter of karma, we're setting the tone, we're setting the vibe for the cycle that we want to be working on for the next two years. So this is about where we can be better where we want to do better what it is that we want to create, making new connections, having a new vision, a new dream, new hopes, new goals, new wishes. Definitely take the time to visualize because that's what January is all about, because we do have the potential to bring some of these elements to life in a very, very short window. 
So on the 22nd, we have Uranus, the Great Awakener, going direct in Taurus energy. We have had Uranus retrograde for the past five and a half months, illuminating for us where the blockages are, where it is that we're holding on too tightly to certain people, places, and things. This is going to be a total shift of your heart space, opening up that heart space, having a new level of creativity flow through, having a new playful energy to experiment with, really getting in a alignment with what it is that makes you happy and what needs to change in order for new happiness to actually take form in your life. This Taurus energy definitely wants us focused on bringing more happiness and joy and pleasure into our lives. But we have to listen to our heart space in order to figure out what those small little creature comforts may actually be. On the 26th, we have Venus moving into Pisces energy. Now, Pisces energy is very emotional, highly intuitive, great for imagination, for fantasy, for dream work, for creativity, which I think is really going to benefit you because it's highlighting your third house. Your third house is your mental plane. It's new ideas, new details, new information, and it's how you choose a medium in order to communicate your thoughts into the real world. So Venus, who is very focused on, you know, relationships, first of all, her own self worth, her own self value. Second of all, the relationships in our lives that are encouraging and supporting and bring happiness and joy into our life. And third, money, finances, resources. Now in Pisces energy, there is a certain amount of emotional depth that we have to explore to figure out what makes us happy and what, what doesn't make us happy. But after we kind of draw the line in the sand of what some elements are illuminating to us that need to go, if you will, we're going to be able to make that change pretty freaking quickly. What I like about this is that if you're into art, if you're into music, if you're into like writing poetry, if you're into like design, this is going to be a super creative time for you bringing some really, really powerful ideas to life and putting it in front of an audience in a way that is clearly being able to bring the fantasy, the imagination, land of your inner realm into this odor realm into this physical reality. And I think the messages, the ideas that you have are going to help inspire other people. So definitely do not kind of keep all of this energy to yourself. It is in your best interest to share as much of your ideas, as much of your goals, as much of your insight with other people as possible. So some of the messages that I would like to leave you with to concentrate on as you move throughout the month of January, the first one is, is to get very serious about your options, get very serious about the opportunities, not the opportunities that you want to come to you, the opportunities that you can make for yourself. A lot of this has to do with passion, with excitement, with inspiration, because you have a lot of planetary aspects really encouraging you to bring new ideas to life, to bring new methods, new mediums uh, to the forefront to be able to kind of convey and communicate your inner realm to the outer realm, I would get very serious on what it is that you've been sleeping on, what it is that you've been blocking from sharing with the world. This is going to be an opportunistic year for you, but you have to put yourself out there in a way that you've been afraid to do. Now, I know it's going to come with a lot of, I'm going to say, mental anguish in order for you to kind of make the changes that you know you have to make, although they make you very uncomfortable. It is going to be a time where your mental health is going to dictate the level of success that you are actually able to reach throughout this year. Now, when we're talking about mental plane, we're talking about Mercury. Mercury is going direct in your sign on the 18th. Up until then, I think there's going to be a lot of confusion. I think there's going to be a lot of negative narratives, even some depressive thoughts. And then when Mercury shifts into a direct position, I think you're going to be able to kind of like cut the crap, if you will, override those negative narratives, that, you know, pessimistic attitude, if you will, and really just kind of get real with what it is that you want to experience, because you know what you don't want to experience. You're not quite sure what it is that you do want to experience. And again, with Mercury in your sign, this is a huge advantage for you to set your sights on the highest dream possible because it is some serious manifesting energy that we haven't had in a very long time. 
What I will say to you is that I think you're going to go through a, a very deep transformation of self over January. Of course, you just received your light codes from your solar return on your birthday. That is setting you up for what it is that you need to pursue over this next course of this year. But a lot of this, when we move O to Capricorn season and into Aquarius energy, is figuring out what it is that you need to end, what it is you need to close the door on, what it is that you need to walk away from in order to free yourself up to pursue new I'm going to say paths of happiness, of joy, of success. There are a lot of things right now, and most of it is ingrained in your mental plane, uh, that you do not feel confident or optimistic enough to actually bring some of the dreams, bring some of the ideas, the projects, the goals to your awareness, first of all, and second, to reality for other people to know what it is that you're aiming to do. Now, there is going to be a lot of emotion come up for you as we move throughout the month of January, because we're essentially getting back to reality. You have all of that energy, the Aquarian energy focusing in on the second house, asking you, you know, what you want to build from here, what do you need to create for yourself to feel a little bit more stable and secure and successful in your realm. And you will find that through exploring that a lot of it is going to uh, result back into the lack of confidence, the lack of self esteem, and the want need and desire for you to kind of play in the shadow realm, stay in the darkness, play behind the curtain, if you will, afraid to put yourself out there. So you are going to have to make some, you know, pretty big changes in your perspective, in your attitude, in your mental narrative, if you actually want to align with the path that will see as much, I'm going to say career and financial success as possible throughout the course of 2023. So Capricorn, that's all that I have for you for this month. I hope you have a beautiful 2023, a beautiful January, and a beautiful transition out of your birthday season and into actually bringing some brand new elements to life. I'm sending you nothing but love and we'll talk to you soon.